but yep. there we are. Fire away. So we've, we've got some of the, uh, this looks like the Tampa Bay area back here. You guys have really made an effort to include Florida. Tell us about some of the, the special parts of this, this area here. Well, every single uh, mini land that we open anywhere in the world has to take on what we call the face of the place. And uh, so opening a Legoland Florida, we had to put a Florida section. And what you do is you typically look for a piece of architecture and points of interest that have been here for a number of years. Uh, and we've, what we've tried to do with Florida, and it is actually the biggest cluster we've ever done. We've never done one this lot this size. We start at the top with the fort uh, at uh, St. Augustine. We go all the way through the clock tower of central Florida, the Annie Pfeiffer Chapel. We go all the way down through Miami and into, into Key West. And we've got points of interest all the way through the uh, cluster. And then we've also got the Kennedy Space Center and the Daytona International Speedway. How much work does it take to put together a skyscraper like the SunTrust <laughs> building over yeah. there? Well, the whole of Miniland has 30 million bricks in it. Uh, and the park has 50 million in total. There, give, give, give or take a few thousand. But the detail, these models have been built for nearly a year and a half now at different places around the world. And we have a, a, about 150 model builders who've been working on these different models. Something like a skyscraper like that will take maybe maybe two months for each individual. But bearing in mind you've got so many model builders at different places building them. And then building the models is just the first step. The second step is then doing the animation, the detail, the moving cars, the water that needs to be included in terms of activation of uh, fountains and waterfalls. And then the third stage is the, the lighting of Miniland. Miniland has uh, millions of tiny lights in here. So in the evening we have an, an, a separate display which will show Miniland at night, which is quite spectacular. You know, I, this is kind of an offbeat observation here, but it's the first thing I thought of. It's like an old Japanese Godzilla movie. These are just about the right height to go through and for somebody in a Godzilla suit to smash up. Yeah, we, we, we say something a little through uh, Gulliver's eyes, rather than, because uh, we don't want Godzilla, people to run through here and, and tear it up. It is still made of Lego bricks, let's be clear. And I think Lego bricks, although these are all glued together and they're fixed right. down, you know, they're still Lego bricks. Um, and the bricks are ones that you can make, uh, you can buy these bricks anywhere in the world. They're not special bricks. We UV coat them, that's about the only thing that's different. It must be uh, pretty exciting for you to see, you know, all this coming together when you've got about 30 days left and biting your fingernails. Am I biting my fingernails? Actually, no. I think the uh, we had a few scary moments two or three months ago. I think that the PCL, the contractor, have done a fantastic job. Um, the guys have been working overtime to get us ready. We will be ready for the 15th of October. The issue for me is I, will, I want to be always open a little bit earlier to give us as much time to get into the into that official opening. 15th of October does not worry me one iota. I'm fine. I don't want anything else.